Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the little code question unique number of occurrences. Okay, so let me explain with this example. So we have to return true or false uh, based on the number of occurrence of each value. So uh, simply, uh, we should count um, number of occurrence of each value. So in the case, um, so we use hash, let's say um, counts. And in this case, uh, one is three times, right? And uh, two is two times, and uh, three is one time. After that, I think uh, there are a few ways to solve this question. And uh, I think uh, most people do like this. And uh, create a set and uh, iterate through all values one by one. And if current number in set, in the case, um, current number is duplicate. So that's why we should return false. And if we iterate everything, uh, we should return true. So that is a simple solution. And uh, my strategy is a little bit different. So I also use set. And I use set for number of occurrence of each value. So that means this one, this one, this one. So if they are all unique, so length of um, occurrence number is equal to number of data in counts, right? So condition is length of counts equal length of, so we use set, and then counts dot value. So if we meet this condition, we should return true. If not, we should return false. So let's check. So um, length of counts is three, right? Three equal, and uh, so counts value will take all data in counts, and then um, we use set. So we will get a unique uh, numbers. So in the case, so three to one, so they are all equal, right? So that's why uh, we will get like a three to one, and then length should be three, right? So three equal three. So in the case, we should return true. If not, we should return false. So let's say uh, if three is two. So in the case, um, unique number is two, right? Three and two. So in the case, so this number will be two. So in the case, uh, we should return false, right? Yeah, so that is a basic idea to solve this question. So let's jump into the code. Okay, so let's write the code. First of all, initialize count, and uh, this is a hash map. And first of all, iterate through all numbers uh, one by one. So for n in array, and uh, counts, and uh, n equal one plus counts dot get. And the key is n, the whole value is zero. After that, return length of counts equal length of set. And uh, counts dot values. Yeah, let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be order of n, where n is the number of data in input array. And the space complexity is also order of n. So in the worst case, uh, all data are unique. So in the case, uh, this count, this hash map, will have n data at most. So that's why. Yeah, so before we end the video, um, please support me with your action, such as a comment and a hitting like button. So your action will boost my motivation. So really appreciate it. Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. I'll see you in the next question.